It's a big Champions League night. Welcome to the Sports on Pulse. I'm Gary Al Smith. Barcelona will be going to the Stamford Bridge for what should be their 13th meeting since 2000. It's been a pretty interesting series of games and both have established what has become a very, very interesting rivalry. Without speaking much, I'll leave you talking to the two gentlemen here, so in Saki and Fifi Fossum. Welcome. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Right. What's at stake here today at the Stamford Bridge, Selwyn? It means a lot to um, Chelsea, especially well, even when the manager has already added out that he's had sleepless nights. And it's obvious that for a manager to say it to the media that he's had sleepless nights, you know how big the game is and how important it is for him personally and for the club. Looking at their, their present form, how they are trying to progress and pick up after. If they have to win this game, it will be very much important for them as a confidence builder to the whole squad and him as a manager. And for Barcelona, what does this mean? I mean, they've already taken a good lead in La Liga. How does this impact on their season? I think it means a lot for, especially the manager, Ernesto Valverde, because I feel whatever he has done so far this season, being unbeaten in the La Liga so far, reaching the Copa del Rey finals, if he fails to make it to the quarterfinals of the UEFA Champions League, his job could be on the line. He could be sacked. Really? Of course. It is Barcelona. And we've seen over the years. No, <laughs> let, me, let me make a clear example of Tata Martino. He was in the final of most, he lost the title on the final day and so forth. But he was sacked because Barcelona failed to progress to, to the semi finals of the Champions League for the first time in so many years. Luis Enrique's final season too was evident that anytime you do not make progress with Barcelona in the Champions League, because we bought a lot. And in the case of Avedi, they spent a lot of money. Dembele is in, Coutinho is in, Jeremina is in. A lot of Players have been signed on, and all is because it all is because Real Madrid are dominating the Champions League, and Barcelona want to be back there. We've established what both teams see as the meaning of this game. Let's go into the specifics as to how they line up. We are seeing Barcelona here. Efsen, Fifi, give us a best eye view of what the starting eleven could be like. Uh, it could be tested and impose and impose for Barcelona. Alba. The, the, the Left four back. at the back will be Alba, PK, Umtiti, and Sergio Roberto. Obviously, Semedo is out of the game, suspended. The midfield is, is where the problem is because for now we know Iniesta is starting, Busquets, Rakitic, but the fourth man is either going to be Andre Gomez or Paulinho. Andre Gomez provides weight and he, he supports the defense more. Paulinho doesn't offer that, he offers more to the attack. But the front line is going to be Messi and Luis Suarez. Interesting. How does Chelsea counter a starting eleven like this? They have to definitely go with their natural way. They have to be themselves in the three-back system. Christensen, Rudiger, Gary Cahill, because of his experience in this tournament and who he is in the club. Moses on the right wing, left wing, we can look at Marcos Alonso. Emerson Palmieri, we don't know yet, but then Marcos Alonso definitely. It has to be Kante in the middle and Fabregas playing against former club because it means a lot to him, especially playing against Barcelona, being a Catalan, playing with his old friends and all that. He deserves it. Hazard also in that hole, in that number 10 role, causing problems, which Barcelona themselves has stated that Hazard could be a problem and they know how to deal with him. Rakic has said that they need to close him down him because he could be the player for the attack. They have to find a way of doing it, but maybe a Pedro, also a former Barcelona player, this will be important to, play, uh, to help Hazard in attack. William could also be around. So options seem to be more for Chelsea than for Barcelona, which uh, if, if I take a look at a lot of the starting 11s I've seen for Barcelona, especially seems set. But the only change, like he said, being either Andre Gomez for Paulinho, and it's just that. But for Chelsea, though, just before we go, it is Hazard. He's not comparing himself to Leo Messi or to anyone else as we finish this segment. It is good to be compared with the, the greatest ever, uh, Messi, Ronaldo. But uh, yeah, I'm different. I'm completely different. Uh, we play in different league. So I try to do my job. I try to reach that level, uh, their level, because they are the best in the world. So yeah, every season I try to, to do my best. This kind of game you need to perform, because if you want to be one of the best, you need to play well in, uh, in big games. When you play Champions League, 
is more than difficult because you play against the, the best team in Europe. This season, Barca is one of the best in the world. So, yeah, it's going to be a good game. I hope for Chelsea, uh, we will give everything, both games, here and away. We are Chelsea, we are the champion of England, so we are ready. We can face them, uh, we can beat them if we want. So let's go for it. For me, he is. He's, he's maybe uh, the most important play, player uh, for Chelsea, but uh, we know that uh, Chelsea is not, not only Hazard. But for sure, he, yeah, we have to be ready to stop him. We know that he's really, yeah, really fast, that he searches one against one. And uh, I think uh, if his last games, yeah, he's in really, yeah, really good form. So we have, to be, <laughs> we have to be ready for him. So you've had the two key players off both sides. Quick predictions yourself, Selvin? Chelsea 2 1. 3 0 Waterloo. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow. You're not even giving Chelsea a chance to score one. Who is going to score? <laughs> <laughs> well, definitely. Oh, the the managers have stated that oh, they, are going to, they are going to attack us and we are ready to take the pressure. Who is going to but score? But then, definitely. Who is going to score for Chelsea? Hazard is always there to cause Hazard, Hazard, Hazard is not a big player. He's not a big no, no, player. Yeah, so the William factor. I mean, I know you are mm. you know, in for Barca, but how important will. He's, he's on good form, William. Should he yeah. start? Of course, he should start. You think and he should I, start? I feel he will provide more trouble for Alba, when because Alba, you've seen he has a telepathic play with him, between Messi. him and Messi, because he will be moving forward more. So if William is there, it will cause him more trouble. Let's see the head to head. Yep. You can go on and on and on. 2015 till 2006, and this is the story: Chelsea with four wins, Barca with three. It's been a good rivalry, and tonight. We should have a good game. Uh, we've got our predictions from the studio. And you can head over to Facebook to, to, to give us your thoughts as yeah. well on what you think of this game, especially about the formations and all that, who should start, who should not. And then we can go back to 2000 when it all began for both teams. Five, one, five. <laughs> so that's the spot for now. Thank you, Selwyn. And thank yeah, you, okay. Fifi. Um, I'll be back at 8.30 to bring you the latest in this game.